Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1359. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about how to participate in the NVIDIA stock split. Now, before I talk about that, you know NVIDIA as one of the magnificent seven stocks. It's up there with Alphabet, Amazon, Apple, Meta, Microsoft, and Tesla. But did you know that NVIDIA was the best performing magnificent seven stock? That's right. It's up 132.2% year to date. The next best performer is Meta Platforms up 34.9% then Alphabet up 24%, then Amazon up 17.4%, then Microsoft up 10%, Apple up 0.8%, and Tesla is the only one that has negative performance this year, down 29.1%. Now I'm still highly confident in Tesla and I won't be selling my Tesla shares. After its stock split, I think the price got a little bit ahead of itself. So it's taking a bit of time out to catch up with its valuation. But Tesla recently surged on news reports that Beijing has given preliminary approval for the electric vehicle giant to launch its full self-driving in China. Back in April, Tesla had worse than expected earnings and revenue for the first quarter, which really has held their stock down because it was their lowest quarterly per share earnings since 2021. But since that time, Tesla talked about a more affordable new model coming out And that's what a lot of shareholders have been hoping for, and that has made the stock rebound some. But we're here to talk about NVIDIA. And NVIDIA announced a 10 for 1 stock split. Now, like Tesla, NVIDIA has had its share price run up dramatically since the announcement of the stock split. But also, it's coming off of record earnings as well. NVIDIA beat Wall Street's targets for its first quarter and guided higher than expected for the current period. So what is a stock split and is it something that's beneficial for a company? Well, a stock split really isn't technically any big deal, but psychologically it's a big deal. What I mean is if I give you 10 dimes or a dollar, you don't really care whether you have 10 dimes or $1. And that's like a stock split. A 10 for one stock split would be like getting 10 dimes for your dollar. You're just as well off after the stock split as you were before. However, psychologically, people love the idea of having more shares. And so people tend to buy in order to participate in the stock split. Now that means that the price can dramatically run up prior to the stock split, but it also means it can sell off and people can take profits after the stock split. So there tends to be more volatility on the upside going into the split and more volatility on the downside after the split. So that's something to be aware of. But since you're a long-term investor, I know that volatility is something you're used to and something that as long as you're looking out five years or more, you're willing to hold through a lot of that volatility. And if you can turn on some dollar cost averaging and buy some shares at regular intervals, you can use that volatility to your advantage where you're buying more shares when the price is down and fewer shares when the price is up. So you actually end up rooting for the shares to go down so you can buy more in the short term, knowing that over the long term, you'll have more shares and hopefully over time amass a larger net worth. In order to participate in the stock split, you have to be a shareholder of record at the close of the market on Thursday, June 6th that will qualify you for the split that happens at the close of the market on Friday, June 7th. So you must buy your shares by the close of the market on Thursday in order to participate in the split on Friday. If you buy your shares on Friday, you're too late and you've missed it. Then on Monday, June 10th, the shares will begin trading at the new split adjusted price. So for every share that you bought on Thursday and held for the split on Friday, you will get nine additional shares of NVIDIA. 
So that means on Monday, when you look at your account, your shares will suddenly have one-tenth the worth for each share that they had on Friday. But when you total up the price of the post-split shares times the price of NVIDIA, you'll get the same dollar amount that you had on Friday, unless the price has risen or dropped. And likewise, NVIDIA as a company won't be worth more or less after the split. There will just be 10 times the number of shares in the company than there were before. So why would NVIDIA be splitting its stock? Well, mainly to make the shares look more attractive to retail investors and employees. But also there's a chance that it might be added to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and it may need a lower price per share for that. When NVIDIA was asked why they're doing the stock split, they said the aim is to make stock ownership more accessible to employees and investors. So there's no doubt that while it's exciting for us shareholders to have 10 times the amount of shares that we had before, the reality is nothing's changed. We've got 10 dimes instead of a dollar. But this may propel you to buy additional shares through dollar cost averaging or through accumulation later on to continue to have and build a nice position in your portfolio of NVIDIA. I happen to think it's going to continue to be one of the most valuable stocks in the S&P 500, and it looks like it's on its way to becoming number one and dethroning Microsoft of that crown. NVIDIA would have to grow quite a lot to make that happen, but at the pace of growth that it has and the popularity of its chips that it's selling, its long-term future looks bright indeed. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.